I love her. I love you, baby girl. Hello, my beauties. How's everyone doing? If you are new here, my name is Zonaza, and I welcome you to my channel. Here we talk all things feminine style, beauty, makeup, hair, life, faith, you name it, we are on it. Please do make sure to subscribe and become part of this fast growing family. If you are a returning beauty, welcome back. On today's video, we are doing a she in haul. I talked about this on my previous vlog. I just haven't had the time to do it. My 9 to 5 has been on my neck and I've had to reshoot some parts. So I do apologize for delaying with this. <laughs> before we go in i want to warmly welcome our new subbies this family has grown so much in the past few weeks you have been showering me with love encouragement support and suggestions for content it means the world to me please make sure to share with your friends this new discovery that you've made so that we can continue to grow so i downloaded the site a few months ago but i just really hadn't had the time to go through the items and find something that really piques my interest until I actually needed a slip dress. I will say I needed it because really it was something that I felt like I needed because it is feminine, it is soft and it is one of those items that you can wear as many times as you want in many different ways. But on the site, I saw that if you spend 1200 you do qualify for free shipping so i went ahead and looked for other items as well and it was not just card fillers i made sure that it is items that i like items that speak to me i like texture i love color i love all things feminine in my clothing so i went on a search for those items i also added some makeup tools and just a random household tool that you will see just now i placed my order on the 30th on the website i got the payment notification and confirmation email that was done and then on the 31st of may which is the following day i got another email saying that my order had been shipped and i was given an estimate of the 25th of june as the date at which i must expect my delivery when i got the message that my order had been shipped i got the tracking number as well and i saw that the courier company was buffalo logistics south africa so i went on and tracked and it confirmed that the items were being shipped on the 8th of june which is approximately a week a little over a week after i had i had paid and placed my order I got a message, an SMS from Buffalo Logistics that was requiring me to pay my duties. Now, I was a little taken aback by this one because I thought it would just be free shipping and a little bit of a customs fee. The total for my items, remember, was 1,238. The SMS I got from Buffalo Logistics said I need to pay 262 Rand for my stuff to be actually delivered to my house. I was so shook though. I had been expecting that I would have to pay a customs fee, but I was not expecting 262 Rand. I felt like it is a lot. It is about what 20% of what I actually spent on the clothes. However, because I wanted my items, I was not gonna let them all go because I understand that if you don't pay that amount, they're gonna send your stuff back to Shein, so I was not prepared for that. So I paid immediately and I got a confirmation for that as well, that they have received the money. And that was that the waiting started. Oh yes, just a brief detour. I tried to get my money back, half of that 262 Rand that I paid because I had seen someone here on YouTube saying you can actually get that money back. Someone had said you can contact them on Instagram, contact Shein on Instagram send them the proof of payment ah there i go dm the she in page oh the robot responds i do not understand what you say <laughs> not literally the robot robot speaking but the automated response i was like 
Mm, okay i just let it go i later learned that you can go on the site and give all that proof and whatnot i didn't do any of that i just wanted to get my clothes and be done with it so in total i paid the 1238 for the actual items and 262 rand for customs i have not made any efforts to get that money back okay now the wait begins i waited for my items kept tracking and tracking and i was relaxed in my tracking because they had said my stuff will get to me by the 25th but i gained a lot of confidence when i saw that this stuff is already here in Joburg, so they can't keep them sitting there for no reason and then on the 18th of june while i was busy vlogging with you guys my items arrived so in total it took them 18 days to get my stuff that i had ordered on the 30th of may that i received on the 18th of june which is something totally okay with me that was two weeks and a few days i've had to wait that long for zara to ship items and they are taking the stuff from locally from Joburg. so i was completely fine with the stuff coming from Xi'an. it's Xi'an, Xi'an coming from china to take less than three weeks and okay, now that all the stuff is over and done with let's go straight into checking out the items i'm gonna show you the items in no particular order first is the first item i'm showing you it's a makeup case i've obviously been using it already as you can see it came a bit smaller than i had anticipated but it is beautiful it's pretty i already have some of my brushes here it's the ones i was using today it's a beautiful burgundy pleather brush holder brush container it is pretty i like it i love the color i love um the actual feel of it it's cute but i wish it was a bit bigger but in terms of matching what i had seen on the app it matches it it's completely fine i should have checked the measurements but i didn't so i can't fault them for that one so that's that up next i got these eyelashes that are so pretty that i have on even right now all the other pairs i've already used on my clients so <laughs> they were all looking lovely at first i was a bit skeptical thinking these are way too long for me but i like them they are obviously not an everyday lash that i will throw on i'm wearing them now because i have something special which is my date with you my beauties what do you guys think give me a thumbs up if you like these and you would go for them as well i personally like them but i wouldn't wear them on an everyday basis this is a pack of eight pairs of lashes they were going for 46 rand that is a steal and a half especially considering their length and their quality they are nice and fluffy they are what 5d yes i think it's 5d lashes they are beautiful and at 46 rand they are extremely cheap i was so excited by this bag you beauties already know that i'm big on a bag girl i love these and this last two honey i'm gonna keep for myself okay <laughs> the next item that i got is this toothpaste squeezer this is a really random item ladies but i wanted to try out all the aspects all the different sections this is falling under the homeware section i didn't open this actually before this this is the first time i'm opening it um this has just fallen off which is a double-sided tape i'm convinced um this is a to toothpaste holder you put this on the wall and put your toothpaste i'm not sure which side i'm gonna check the directions to use it which are on the side so yeah this is the gadget it looks cute it looks pink i don't know if i'm gonna use it or not to be quite honest but i am gonna try it on the bathroom and see how it looks i like how it matches my top okay this was going for 59 rand there are new prices now on the side but i can't remember if that's the price i paid or not but yeah that's basically it this is how it looks i need to see how it works but in terms of quality it looks like um, a pretty nifty little thing and at 59 rand 
it's pretty this one was the funniest one out of the lot when i opened it i was like hey Isana, girl what is this what joke is this this is the jacumas la chiquita you we all know this bag it's a designer bag well the original of it everyone who is anyone who is trendy via instagram via youtube has one so i thought okay why not but when it came it was scrunched it was looking weird and silly and the chain was separated uh, but when i put it together it actually made sense shame i like it um yeah <laughs> Still the funniest thing I've ever seen. Her. I don't know when CC saw it, she was like, "Is this for me, or CC?" <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is this is the bag. It's looking really cute. The bummy side was that when I wanted to wear it with the green dress that I got, which you will still see, I couldn't put on the chain, so I ended up leaving it at home. But unfortunately, I can't even fit my iPhone onto this. I don't know but it's cute it looks good so yeah it's not bad so the famous Jacumus la chiquita dupe was going for 60 rand so i guess it's worth it a pink dollar nyana, a pink randy nyana. but it's looking so cute now today i don't know what happened i think it has regained some shape from not being in the shopping bag now i actually like it I know baby we can be friends we can be friends i really do like it now when i first got it it was looking a little lopsided but now it's nice and balanced so i'll probably wear this i i'm very happy with it now i've had a change of mind i forgot to mention this it's a 20 piece brush set for 120. now to go on to the actual clothes i'm gonna start with the one that dribbled me yo <laughs> ladies 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 the color block pink and mint green pants hey they have this waist detail this is where the dribbling started i saw these pants and i wanted like baby pink pants just to have maybe to wear with a white top with a white uh, you know t-shirt with a white shirt anything i wanted baby pink pants so i see these going for 173 rand i pick i check the sizing everything i take my medium i wasn't sure whether to take because i also checked the reviews but i ended up taking medium i was like okay i'm still losing weight if it's too if it's small it won't be too small it will be okay now i check again when i'm checking the progress of my order i discovered that these are color block pants at first i didn't even check the title or like the name of the item i looked at the item itself it was one of those suggested items you know i didn't go on a search and, and type pink pants this is very late this is when i'm already seeing the item here in joburg already i'm thinking yo i will color block pants what am i gonna do with color block pants and when I checked on the site, I thought, you know, in these sites where they don't want to have the model on the other item, they will take the item and color it in a different way. Photo, just Photoshop a different color on it. So I thought, I saw the bit of a bluish, mint, greenish coming through from the back. I thought they had done that. I thought the, the pads were originally mint and they are trying to sell the pink pants i know guys that's not so smart that's so blonde but that's what i thought at the time only to discover that i bought color block pants i was not looking for color block pants i do like to color block like generally like but nice color block and intentional color block i still like that trend that's one of my favorite things because i do love a mixture of colors and a mixture of textures but this time that's not what i was going for however i do try to make it work um yeah anyway in terms of size they are a size medium european 38 us size 6 and south african size 34 they do fit me as you can see here 
I have paired them with a boyfriend shirt and just slides. Oh, it's just to just to make it work. I'm still gonna find ways. I also feel like they would look nicer if they were a bit looser, but I know for sure they will become loose. They are not that bad because if I had gotten a large, it would have been too big. So yeah, this is me trying my best with them, trying to make them work. I started with my least favorite, but in terms of the pants, the quality is a bit see-through-ish. It's not bad though. Like for 173, this is this is something okay. Um, I like that they are not shiny, they are not too clingy, like you know, some fabric when you when you feel it on your skin, even if it's not too tight, you will still feel a bit of stiffness. This is not stiff, it's completely okay for 173 Rand. But next time I'll make sure to check the item description properly before I buy myself clown pants. That's not on Shin though, completely on myself. So yeah, now on to the next item. You beauties already know I love my nudes, I love my skirts, I love my feminine touch to everything. So I went and picked this neat skirt up. I was not looking for it. It found me and I fell in love. I love it so much. It's so beautiful. The fabric is nice and soft. I tried it on with a blue shirt at first, but I felt like it was a bit too skoguana. You guys know I love skoguana, but that one was a little too much skoguana. So I went ahead and put it on with a bodysuit. This bodysuit is from Mr. Price. It is a dupe of that famous Zara bodysuit that everyone loves. Um, I actually quite like it now when I've paired it with this bodysuit. I love how all these colors just come together. They are soft. This one is beige and then the peach is nice. You know, it's, it comes together nicely. Even with the blue shirt, in terms of colors and, you know, getting that nice balance, I did get that. Overall, I love this skirt. I feel like I still have a lot of work to do around it. And it's one of those pieces that I will have in my wardrobe for a very long time. You know, it's just the, it's not trendy. It's not going anywhere. I, I just love it. I love it so much. And I do not really associate this with Shein. I was so excited when I saw it. I felt like, oh, this is so me. Most of the items I had seen previously on the side were very trendy and not appealing to me and my body shape. So I found that this for me is beautiful. It's stunning. I enjoyed it. The skirt was going for 155 rand, which I feel is another still. It's quite cheap. I like it. And the fabric is nice. You know, it's not rough and feeling cheap. It's a definite great buy for me. It does come with a top when you want it as a set, but I didn't want another crew neck. I didn't want another sweater. No, sharp, especially the shape that it comes in. If you do like it as a set, you can go ahead and cop them both. I think it's going for 355 Rand, but overall, I love it. It actually looks nice even with this top, eh? Like Next on the list of items is this top that I have on, which I'll put a picture of here. I love this. I was intentional with looking for it. I literally searched knitted tops because I like cute, dressy, casual tops. Do look out for cute tops that are not t-shirts. This is one of the items that showed up on that search and lots of other options. This one in particular, I love the detail on the front. It actually reminds me of an item I had many years ago. It was also pink and had something similar going on the front. The only qualm I have about this one is that this part right here, I don't know. I, I feel like sometimes it may open. I don't know. Um, I'm not crazy about it. It's better when I pull it down. So overall, I love the top. I would repurchase in a different color. In terms of the fit, it is perfectly fitting, but I just need to make sure to pull it down a bit so that the hole does not expose things I don't want exposed, especially things that have been sucked by three children. No way, Jose. <laughs> 
the top was going for 126 rand i don't know it's a bit pricey i guess when you compare it with a mr price or whatever but the quality is beautiful and overall it's not an expensive item it's just affordable it's still within range but when you do compare with the cheaper ones here it would probably be like 89 rand at mr price but i'm okay with it like this at least i know for sure that it's not going to be worn by everyone it still has a bit of that exclusivity even though it is cheap so that's my plus for it i really love this i can pair this with linen jeans da -da -da, anything it's a nice casual look i can do a lunch in this jig a kelleth you know this good small things no small small nice nice international slay mama but not trying too hard that's what we're going for here love it love it love it please accept my apology for the changing lighting conditions it's gotten really dark outside and i rely mostly on natural lighting to get this working so i've made means please understand my situation <laughs> now the next item on this list is this sweetheart oh i love her oh i love her i love you baby girl this satin slip dress it has a nice gabella to the front what is this thing? it's a drape it's a draping yes it has a nice draping in front strappy arms oh love 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 this is in the size european 38 us size 6 it's a medium on the side which is a size 34 guys i loved how i felt in this dress the fabric is just gorgeous not too shiny it's just so beautiful it is strong very minimal stretch i actually thought it doesn't stretch but i'm noticing as i'm pulling it now that there is a little bit of a stretch i love how it hugged me around the waist area and then let me go on the curvy areas like girl we got this i love it so much great great quality it's not extremely shiny it is a good shine this i will probably repurchase as well in different colors because i fell in love with this thing i think this kind of green is one of the colors that look beautiful against my skin paired it with my zara soft leather block hill mule so comfortable so chic i have lots of many different ways i can wear this a shirt over it and tie it to the front just to maintain that cinched waistline you can pair it with a leather jacket leather biker jacket you can pair it with a blazer a crew neck jumper it is very versatile and beautiful even on the feet you can wear it with slides you can wear it with sneakers you can wear it with flat shoes you can wear it with heels like i have it is super versatile and a must in every lady's wardrobe last but definitely not least hey guys i've been saying favorite 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 but this one really blew me away it's this jumper and skirt let's hope this guys it's so versatile ah i feel grown in this i feel matured i feel seasoned i feel gorgeous i love this outfit um i wore this actually on a different day the 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 knit is soft it it's completely fine because i was worried because it's so cheap and one of the reviews said it was rough i didn't feel any roughness shame personally but i think it has a factual fault of some sort here I'm a little concerned about this part. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a misstitching, if that's what it's called, on top of guys. But that that's what I'm seeing. Like there's no stitching, so it's a misstitching. Okay. But overall, oh baby girl, I was a little concerned that I had to buy another jumper, but I was like, no, I want the skirt. Eh? This skirt is the actual style of this whole show. Okay, well everything is this stuff but you know see this see her she's so beautiful this looks like something that my mom would have that i would see in her pictures from back in the 80s and want for myself this is i'm gonna keep this for me i don't care what style she goes for when she's older but i'm just gonna keep it for her the quality is beautiful it's just beautiful it is a rare item this is not something that you will find i hope 
this is not something that you'll find just anyway i that's that's the sense it gives me unless new feeling catches on and you know mass produce it but overall i love it i love it so much i can wear this to a nice lunch because honestly to be quite honest i shop for lunches most of the time because dinner is not my favorite because i'm always concerned about my kids about coming home and the poor picture quality otherwise overall i'm a lunch girl i love lunch i love breakfast i love lunch i want daylight on my face because even now look look what the darkness has done ruining everything so this is a nice daytime look as most of the items have been this set was going for 227 rand which is a slash down from 527 rand so we love the bargain and with that we have reached the end of this video but before we go let's take a quick recap of all the items that we tried on <laughs> And with that, we have reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to continue supporting the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe, like, comment, and share. All right, let's keep growing together. Thank you so much. I'll see you on my next video.